Hi. Today we're going to discuss some type of question that you may encounter sa licensure examination for teachers, specifically sa GenEd or to your CSE. Okay, so let's start now with question number one. Okay. How many ways can five persons be seated in a row? Again, in how many ways can five persons be seated in a row? Okay, so for this type of question, nagamit tayo ng fundamental counting principle. So paano ba yun? So sabi sa uh, question, in a row, meron daw tayong five persons na uupo. Okay? So ano ilang ways daw yung pwede arrangement nila? Okay? So sa first chair, so let's say yung first chair, ilan pa ba yung possible na taong pwede mo po rito? Okay? So ilan yun? So lima. So since nakaupo na yung isang tao rito, ilan na lang yung possible na pwede mo po rito sa second chair? So napawasan ka na ng isa, so apat na lang. So since nakaupo na yung dalawa dito, ilan na lang dito? Tatlo na lang. At uh, nakaupo na yung tatlo dito, dalawa na lang, and... One. Okay? So, paano natin ito solve? So, multiply lang natin. Multiplication rule ang tawag dito. So, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Oh, so, hindi naman pwede yung calculator sa board exam. So, compute natin ito manually. So, 5 times 4, 20. 20 times 3 is 60. 60 times 2 is 120. And 120 times 1 is 120. So, therefore, meron tayong 120 ways para makaupo yung limang tao in a row. Okay? So, next question. So, answer there is letter C. Okay, next question. In an organization, there are three candidates for president, five for vice president, three for secretary, and two for treasurer. In how many ways can the four positions be filled? Okay, so for this type of question ulit, so meron na naman tayo arrangement. Okay? Pero dito, uh, so, four positions we fill natin. So, let's say itong apat na blanks na ito, ito yung positions na i-fill natin. So, let's say ito yung first, uh, itong first position is for the president. So, ilan ba yung candidate? So, tatlo. Tatlo yung candidate for president. How about for vice president? Lima. For secretary, tatlo. And for treasurer, dalawa. Okay? So, paano natin ito compute Same thing like what we did earlier. Multiply lang natin. So, 3 times 5 times 3 times 2. So, 3 times 5 is 15. Times 3 is 45. Times 2 is 90. So, therefore, answer the key dito is 90 ways. Okay? So, next question. You can actually uh, skip ito ha kapag nag-i-arrange ako. Answer is letter A, 90. Next. In how many ways can four persons be seated in a round table? So ito ay circular permutation. So paano ba natin malalaman kapag circular permutation? So pag nakita niyo sa problem, ina-arrange yung mga tao in in a round table, okay? Or yung upuan na kabilo. So, ganun yung situation sa question. Nagagamitan natin yung circular permutation formula. So, ano ang formula para ito? So, n minus 1 factorial. So, ano si n? Si na n po is the total number of objects. So, sa given problem natin, ang total number of objects is 4. So, 4 persons. Okay? Minus 1 Factorial. So 3 minus, I mean 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay? 3 factorial. So paano ba ikaw compute si factorial? Ganito lang po yan. So i-multiply nyo lang itong number na ito all the way to 1. Okay? So lahat ng counting numbers to 1. So 3 times 2 is 6 times 1 is 6. So the answer here is 6 ways. So there are 6 ways to arrange 4 persons in a round table. Okay? The answer is letter C. Next question. In how many ways can 5 methods be selected in eight met out of 8 methods? Again, in how many ways can 5 methods be selected out of 8 methods? 
So, paano na lang po itong type of problem na ito? So, gagamitin niya po ito ng combination formula. So, paano ba natin malalaman kapag combination or permutation? Ganito lang po yan. Kapag magsa-select po kayo, so, select, gagamitin niya po ito ng combination. Paano naman po pag mag-a-arrange? So, pag mag-a-arrange po kayo, permutation. And since ang formula, ay sabihin yung problem natin, magsaselect tayo. So, gagamitin natin siya ng formula for combination which is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Okay? So, where n is a total number of objects at si r is the number of choosing objects at a time. At or the number of choosing objects in a certain number of objects. Okay? So, sa problem natin, ang ating total number of objects is 8. So, 8 factorial n is 8 pa rin. So, r is 5. Okay? So, you see 5. Because we're going to select 5 out of 8. Okay? times 5 factorial. Okay? So, para hindi kayo dyan malito, si R po is palaging mas maliit kay N. Okay? But again, si R, palaging mas maliit siya kay N. Kasi kapag sinubtract mo itong yung mas maliit kay mas malaki, magiging negative. So, hindi yun pwede. Okay? So, let's complete for this one. So, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Stop mo na tayo sa 5 factorial. Okay, tignan natin bakit. So, 8 minus 3, I mean, 8 minus 5 is 3 factorial. So, 3 factorial times 5 factorial. So, bakit ko pinastop kay 5 factorial? Kasi si 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial, it is equal to 1. Therefore, pwede mo siyang i-cancel. Okay? So, how about 3 factorial? So, 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? So, but since 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6, therefore, we can cancel it with 6 here. Okay? 6 divided by 6 is 1. So, there, definitely, we can cancel it. Next. So, 8 times 7 is 56. So, therefore, there are 56 ways to select 5 out of 8 methods. So, the answer there is letter C. Okay. Next question. Okay, so 10 different picture frames are available of which five are hung in a row. In how many ways can this be done? Okay, so same thing, parang sa ginawa namin sa 1 and 2. Okay, medyo may konting difference lang sa solution nito. So, in a row, meron tayong limang position, like a field, out of 10 objects. So, yung first position, ilan pa ba yung pwede dito? Since may 10 objects tayo, so, kahit sino doon, pwede. So, 10. But since nailagay mo na yung isa din sa first position, ilan na lang? 9 na lang. O, nadawasan ka ng dalawa. So, 8. Dito, 7. Dito ay 6. So, multiply na dito manually. So, 10 times 9 is 90. 90 times 8 is 720. 720 times 7, so 7, 0, 7 times 2 is 14, what? So 5,040 times 6, times 6, so 6 times 0, so 0, 6 times 4, 24, 6 times 0, sorry, bring up, 6 times 0, 0, so 2, 6 times 5 is 13. So, 30,240 ways. So, the answer there is letter C. Okay? That is not it. Okay. Punta naman tayo kay statistics. So, mean is to central tendency 
standard deviation is to what? Okay, so alamin muna natin si ano yung mga under the measures of central tendency. So meron dun si mean, median, and mode. Okay? How about the standard deviation? Si standard deviation po is under measures of variability. Okay, so the answer there is letter B. Pero paano kapag, iba yung tinanong hindi si standard deviation, paano kapag si variance? Variance. Okay, so si variance is, is still under measures of variability. What about the mean absolute deviation? It is still under measures of variability. So the answer there is letter B. Okay, next question. So, decimal 5 is equal to 1 